Hi, this is Steve Catra. I'm going to walk you through how to create a subscription with GraphQL. As you can see, I pulled up the build.gradle file and on line 28, I've gone ahead and added a reference to the reactor core to help us with our publish and subscriber. Next, we'll go ahead and open the schema.graphqls. We'll add a type of subscription and a single endpoint to allow people to fetch all people who are available to schedule for meetings. You can see that on line 84. Now you can see I've added a subscription class that implements the GraphQL subscription resolver. We've gone ahead and auto-wired in our person repository, and we've set up a method called people that returns a publisher that strongly typed or turned a list of person. With inside of people method, you can see that we've got a subscriber set up that has an executor with a single thread configured to pull data at a fixed interval of every one second. Inside of there, we have queried our person repository to find all people and return them on next. Now, the way a subscription works is you get an initial burst of data, and that'll give you all of your people on your first query. And then at that set interval, it's going to requery the database or pull it and find if new people have been added, and then it will push that to all subscribers. All right, I fired up our GraphQL server and pulled up GraphIQL to demo the subscriptions. So we'll go ahead and query our list of people so we can see what seed data we have in the database. And you can see we've got Steve Catra and John Smith, so just two people in the database at this point. So we'll go ahead and switch tabs here and we will create a subscription with the same query. And just as a reminder, subscription has an initial fetch of data. And then as the publisher queries or pulls for new data every one second, like we set up, it will push that data to our client. All right, so just as I had stated, our initial query happens. We pull back the exact same data set as before. And now we will go to the left-hand side here and create a new person. And we should see our publisher pick up on that and push that to our client. So we'll create Bob Ryan. And you can see Bob Ryan has now been pushed across the wire. And we will create Tom Ryan. And now Tom has been pushed across the wire. So setting up GraphQL subscriptions can be fairly easy and straightforward. There's quite a bit more depth that we can go into on this topic. So if there are things you'd like to know more about, go ahead and put some comments down below. If you found this content valuable, please go ahead and share it on your social media of choice and go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the like. And if you would like a quick video about how to set up GraphQL uh, queries or mutations, check out the cards linked to the right of me.